Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, JT Open Stuff, and today guys we are going to do something a little bit similar to something we've done before, but a little bit different. We are going to have another Monster Jam, Monster Truck, Big Truck face-off today, only this time we're going to include just trucks into the mix. Now, why do you ask? Am I involving just trucks? They're not technically a monster truck, but look at this thing. I mean, that's about as close to a monster truck as you're going to get. So let's take a look at what the quality and build of these just trucks is in today's video and kind of compare them to what you're going to get out of a monster jam truck or a Hot Wheels monster truck. Now, guys, I've gotten on a kick lately where I love opening these monster trucks, these monster jam trucks, the Hot Wheels monster trucks. I typically tend to think that the Hot Wheels monster trucks are a little cooler, if you will, because of some of the designs. As you can see, this one is a Jurassic World Triceratops design. So these crazy designs are what keeps drawing me to these Hot Wheels monster trucks. But I have seen a few more restocks lately of these Monster Jam trucks. And as you can see, I found this one at my local Walmart. It is uh, only at Walmart Lucas Stabilizer Monster Truck and Race Car Combo. So that was really cool to find. So we're going to open this up. We're going to open up the Triceratops truck, and then we're going to open up this 57 Chevy Suburban. And we're going to see, can just trucks hang with the big boys? All right, guys, while I'm starting to open this Monster Jam up here, if you haven't already, please, 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 wherever that subscribe button is for you, go over to it right now and click that subscribe button. We are going to be getting really close to 1,500 subscribers here you know, any time. So you're helping me get there. I really, really appreciate it. And I just love bringing new, fresh videos with fun things to you guys. So thank you for subscribing if you have gone over there and done so. And if you haven't, why not? <laughs> it's fun. doesn't cost you anything. And you can be a part of the opening band as well. So guys, here you can see we did get a race car and a monster truck in this opening. So we're not really focused on the race car, but I'll give you a real quick look at that. Kind of a neat looking car, just a basic kind of race car. Nice colors. Just kind of a basic car, but nice little addition. You could perhaps even climb your monster truck over it if you wanted to. But here's what we opened it for. And this is this Lucas Stabilizer Monster Truck. Now, this one is a really nice red, white, and blue design. Some of the issues that I've had with some other Monster Jam trucks is the paint scheme and or colors of the truck. But this red, white, and blue Lucas Stabilizer truck just pops. I mean, those BKT tires with the red rims just accents that red, white, and blue so, so well. A little bit of silver in the chassis as well. This is something that I'm highly critical of Monster Jam trucks is just giving that, hey, just a big chunk of solid colored plastic, whether it's black plastic, pink plastic, whatever color plastic that they use, everything is just that same color of plastic usually. So that little bit of silver is, hey, that's on point. I really like it. Now, because this does look kind of like a big rig, you don't have a tail end of this truck. So that's a little bit strange, but it's kind of cool. I really think that this is a really fun Monster Jam truck. So, hey, so far so good on this opening. Monster Jam has set a bar that the other trucks are going to definitely have to live up to. So, with that being said, let's put that one right over there. Now let's open up this Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Now, again, I really enjoy how Hot Wheels has just, you know, taken the gloves off and really gone through any and every property and license that they have and created Monster Trucks for everything. I mean, we're talking 
Donkey Kong, Skeletor, like I've opened on a previous video. Heck, they've even got Twin Mills and Roger Dodgers and things. In fact, guys, I just recently picked up some glow-in-the-dark Hot Wheels monster trucks that we're going to be opening up on a video coming soon. So those are really, really cool. I think you're going to like those. But look at this. Now, this is kind of a just a one uniform color, which could be typically bland. But, I mean, when you're talking about similar colors working together, look at that. Shiny surfaces. you got that green glass you can kind of see through just slightly different greens that work well but look at those rims how shiny they are how well they work with that monotone color scheme there so typically a monotone color scheme would not be my cup of tea now that does not lift up or anything just a kind of a solid base there but the way that the colors work together is nice you get that little bit of gray from the grill the headlights there and again one of the things that i like the most about these hot wheels is look at that you get a little bit of chrome look or metal look built in there now this one does have kind of you know some greens and blacks in there so it's not just one solid black piece of plastic under there which i really really like all in all this is a nice truck as well same typical articulation of the wheels that you would get ordinarily those are really really nice what a nice truck. I really like this one a lot, and I love that it's kind of themed. Now, I think they could have maybe leaned into the Triceratops, um, you know, imagery of the truck a little bit more. Maybe put another horn right up there. That would have been really, really a fun little addition. But all in all, what a nice truck as almost all of the Hot Wheels monster trucks are. So guys, we are having our closest battle ever between a Monster Jam truck and a Hot Wheels monster trucks truck right now. But I mean, these are really, really close. As you can see, Hot Wheels tires are a little bit taller, but not quite as wide. But I mean, look at these two trucks. If you had, say, $8 to spend to go out and buy these two monster trucks for a fan, of these kind of trucks, they would be happy with either one of them or both of them. At a $4 a piece or less, awesome, awesome buy. All right, now let's see. Oh, by the way, you do get that little crush car with that Hot Wheels monster truck, so that's kind of cool. Here's what we'll do. We'll park him right up on top of that. And you know, if we're gonna do that, let's go ahead and park that Lucas oil truck right up on top of his race car counterpart. I mean, why not, right? There we go. Now let's get into this Just Trucks. Now, one of the things that I think is cool about Just Trucks is they have more realistic trucks. I do like the fact that they have older trucks. I love older trucks, um, mid 70s square bodies and things like that. But these 57s, this is a really cool color scheme almost gives off the vibe of like a grave digger type thing but just that flat black paint with that green with those blacked out rims this is an awesome looking truck so we're going to get into this and see how it compares and as you can see on there there are tons of kind of realistic looking all the way from that 2017 raptor to a ford excursion so i mean you can get all kind of trucks in these just trucks and they typically sell pretty quickly. So there's got to be a pretty, pretty nice size collector base for these Just Trucks out there. Because once you see them, if you don't pick them up, if you go back thinking, hey, I'll go pick up this Suburban next time, there might not be a next time because it might be gone when you go back. But wow, guys, this has some nice weight to it. Kind of, you know what? I think that this might weigh as much, if not maybe a tiny bit more than this monster truck wow that is really kind of surprising really nicely built really really enjoy that now it is i know that i talk about monotone undercarriages and things like that but in this truck i think it's the point for everything to be kind of blacked out and just kind of customized there that windshield's got a nice shine to it that matte black paint 
with the blacked out front end and grill, really, really nice. Those wheels, the tires, really nice. Now, they are not rubber tires, doesn't feel like it. Actually, you know what? They might be rubber tires. I'm getting a little bit of give on them there. So that's a really cool feature. But as you can see underneath, very simple, not a lot, not, well, not a lot, no real motion, kind of like you'll get in a monster truck. So it's just more of a basic kind of roll and play truck. But when you're using your imagination, you can absolutely pretend that this guy is going right over the top of that crush car. I mean, you might have to do a little bit of the lifting yourself, but right over that crush car, absolutely. He almost has the clearance, as you can see right there. Look at that. Barely, barely doesn't clear that crush car. So as far as clearance and tire size and things like that, not comparable when you look at them side by side, but what a fun truck if you want a, a hyper-realistic truck. I mean, to think about going in and getting a Ford Raptor like your dad drives or something like that, how cool would that be? Hey, I want, my mom's got an excursion. I want to go get an excursion, a monster truck excursion. These just trucks can kind of help you do that. So, as a monster truck, not so much. As a fun, collectible, really hyper-realistic truck to add to your monster truck collection or big truck collection? Absolutely. These are really, really cool. This 57 Suburban will definitely go in my collection. Love that paint scheme. But that being said, we do have to name a truck of the video. So is Hot Wheels going to keep the string alive of winning truck of the video? I am really having a difficult time with this. You guys let me know in the comments who you think the truck of this video should be. But guys, I'm going to have to be honest with you. My first inclination as I was opening the trucks was, this is a really nice truck, but the monotone green kind of is screaming out for something extra. I mean, we all know that orange and the, the danger um, signs and stuff of Jurassic Park are very prevalent in the movie. So maybe just like if this had one little splash of orange or something to, you know, signify like a danger, this might be the truck of the video, but it doesn't. So it's not. So congratulations, Monster Jam. You have broken the string with this Lucas Stabilizer Monster Truck. It is my truck of the video. Very, very nice. All the things that I've complained about Monster Jam trucks in the past. Extra color in the chassis. Little pops of color that you can see visible. The red of the rims matches the really nice paint job on this truck. Everything about this truck screams monster truck, and I love it. So this Lucas Stabilizer Monster Jam truck is your truck of the video. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, click that like button, and I will see you on the next toy opening video. Bye.